Good afternoon everyone, welcome to our video live tour of this three bedroom terrace property on Gadby Road that we're currently marketing for £1,300 per calendar month. Do apologise for the delay in starting the live tour, there were just some technical issues today starting, but hopefully you're all managing to log on and watch with us. So we're just starting outside the property, just to showcase the driveway. So it is a shared driveway, um, if you park sensibly and have small to medium sized cars then you should be able to park two vehicles on this driveway and then heading straight into the property you've got this small entrance porch here so a good place for a shoe rack and coats take them off before coming into the house and then you've got another door which leads inside so just a few bits to explain if this is your first live tour with us today, um, if you did have any questions, there should be a little box on your screen. So if at any point, if you had any questions or if you need me to look at anything again, please just do pop me a quick comment. Also, if there were any internet issues today, say if I disconnect or you disconnect, don't worry, this is recorded as we're going along so we can always send it to you afterwards so you don't miss out. So stepping into the entrance area, you've got quite a nice big space. And inside the property, um, the decor inside is really well kept. So it's just nice and neutral with the white walls. And then I believe you've got this fresh gray carpet as well. The first door on your right as you come in, apologies about the smoke alarm beeping as well. I think it needs a new battery. But you do have your downstairs loo. So you've got your bathroom there, uh, sorry, your toilet there. You do also have a little window there sort of leading out into the porch area for a bit of natural light. And then your mirror and sink. Moving onwards, you've got a little bit of understairs storage. So just for all the little odd bits and bobs, just to put under there and store under the stairs. And then flipping around, we'll head into the kitchen. So, new kitchen in here. Again, nice and modern. So, really nice kitchen. You've got loads of worktop space as well, as you can see. It goes around the whole lot. And then you've got a lot of cupboard space. So, cupboards above and below as well. So, you've got loads of storage in here. And really nice modern colours as well, with the grey and the white tiles matching the walls. So you've got space for under-counter white goods, so just there. And then also space here by the wall. And then you've got your gas hob and electric oven, I'm assuming. And then a nice open window as well, letting in lots of natural light and you can also see over your driveway too. So you've got quite a few radiators jotted about, so it's gas central heating throughout the property. And then now we move into this area here. So this is probably gonna be your dining room where your dining table set goes. So quite a good space for that. And then if I flip you around, you've then got your living space here as well. So again, new modern carpet here and nice and neutral on the walls. You've got this decorative fireplace here. Radiator just behind the door. But overall, quite a good size space here. And it also has the open sort of glass into the conservatory area as well. Just to mention, if you did require the measurements for any of these rooms, they will all be on our floor plan, which will be listed um, on the listing here, so you can look at that, make sure your furniture is going to fit. We're then heading into the conservatory here. So no, there's no heating in here, so there's no like radiators uh, located in this space. But quite an empty space to have. And then you've got door leading out to your back garden as well. 
So you've got some bushes here and at the back there, making it a little bit more private. You've then got a little tiled area to the left, um, obviously nice for an outdoor dining set or outdoor furniture. And a little grassy patch as well. You've also got a back gate, uh, which is locked, which leads to sort of a side alley to get to the on-block garages. So this is your garden here. Spinning around, we'll head back in and we'll head upstairs now. If you did have any questions at this point, or if you need me to look at anything again, please do just let me know. But we'll head upstairs now to highlight the bedrooms. So again, moving through the entrance hallway, we'll head upstairs. So the carpet as well goes upstairs, you can see. So that's all matching throughout. And again, white neutral paint on the walls. So as you come up, first room on your left is a bedroom. And this is quite a good sized double room here, as you can see. In here, you've got more of a light gray color on the walls, matching the carpets brilliantly. And then you've got this nice big window leading out into the back. So you can see your back garden and also the on-block garages I was mentioning previously. And there's a curtain rail already installed. And a nice big radiator in here. Again, all of our measurements are listed on the floor plan. So if you needed to make sure your bed fits, just double check on there. And you've got this little storage area here, a little bits and bobs, just tucked away in the corner. Moving on now. So we'll go to the next bedroom. So this is the smaller room of the three, um, but still a good size sort of single room, I'd definitely say. So again, radiator in here, grey on the walls to match the other rooms. And a nice window as well, to let in some natural light. Just opposite this bedroom, you've got these little two cupboards here. So these are really nifty storage space. So in this first one, as you can see, you've just got a few shelves at the bottom, some space, and then a shelf at the top. And then in the next one again, just a few shelves and quite a lot of space at the bottom. So very handy to have some extra storage, always a plus. And then spinning around, we've got our third and final bedroom. So again, this is a Double room here, so a good double room. So we've got this area here, which is most likely where your bed will go. And then again, large window, letting in lots of natural light in here at the moment, which is nice out of a daytime. And then you can see obviously Gadby Road there in front of us with our parking just below. Moving on to the upstairs bathroom now. Last but not least. That's a really good sized bathroom in here. So you've got your toilet there with your bath and you've got a handheld shower as well over the bath. Then you've got a sink with a mirror above. And then you've got your shower cubicle in the corner with a shower overhead. And then just next to that, you've got a heated towel rack as well. So that is your upstairs bathroom. And again, large window with privacy glass, but the light, you can still see it's beaming through, which is really nice. Okay, so that concludes the video tour there. We've been through to all the rooms. If at this point you had any questions or if you need me to look at anything again, if you just pop them through, 
um, just before the live tour ends today, just so I make sure I cover everything for you. What I will quickly do is just briefly walk through all the rooms again whilst explaining the next steps in case you were interested. So after the video tour ends today, you'll be then sent a text message which contains a link to an online application form. We'll just need all adults over 18 to fill in this form for us just to get a few more details. That will then go over to the owner of the property and as long as they're happy to go ahead, we can then arrange a physical viewing. So in terms of pets, I do believe pets are negotiable on this property for an extra £25 per month surcharge. So that would take the total rent to £1,325 per month. With those applications, if you did require any assistance with them, or if it doesn't come through, say, we can help in our office, so please do give us a call. Our office number is 01795 429836. So please do give us a call, option two for rentals, and we'll be able to help you through it. Okay, so there's no new questions coming through at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and end this video tour here today. But thank you everyone for joining me this afternoon and we hope to hear from you soon. Just one last question about electricity. So yeah, you do have a plug socket just down here in the corner. Uh, so a dual socket for electricity in the conservatory space. And there is also some lighting out there as well. Okay. Of course, if any other questions do pop up, uh, please just do call or email us if you've been corresponding via email and we'll be happy to come back to you. So thank you everyone for joining me today and we hope to hear from you all soon.